Hello and welcome to today's video. Now today's video will be straightforward enough. What we're going to do is a quick look at the payroll functionality within QuickBooks Online. Now why is payroll important? Well payroll is going to be important if you have to pay yourself. Maybe you're going to be a director of a company so it's only if you've got a limited company not a sole trader or either limited company or sole trader if you have to pay your employees. So if you're employing someone to work on your behalf. Either way, payroll becomes super important. Now there's many pieces of software on the market that can run payroll for you, but one of the things that is a benefit of using the QuickBooks one is because it's all integrated. The idea that you just have one piece of software and you have the option then to pay your employees via that, or again, yourself. So join me as we have a quick look at the standard payroll for QuickBooks Online. Yeah, I told him I can be a fighter if you want. I'll be better catch you Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I'm a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet, and also head of account here at Boffix. Now, today's video is simple. If you've got payroll needs, then look no further into what QuickBooks Online can do for you. Before we go any further, let's look at what options we have and what we're going to cover on this particular video. Well, as you can see with QuickBooks, there are two different payroll options. The standard payroll, which is what we're going to be looking at today, and the advanced payroll, which we'll cover in a separate video. Now, the standard payroll starts at £4 per month, £1 per employee with 20% on top, whereas the advanced payroll is £8 for the base with £1 per employee after that. Now, as I scroll down, it tells you what features you get in each one. So, for example, the standard can account for two pay schedules, whereas the advanced goes up to six. The standard can have three automatic calculated statutory payments, while the advanced goes up to five. So both can cover statutory sick pay and statutory maternity pay, but the advanced covers also adoption and parental bereavement statutory as well. And just back to that pay schedules, so you're, both of them can cover both weekly and monthly, whereas the advanced one also gives you the chance of having bi-weekly, fortnightly, and also quarterly and annual pay schedules. The advanced one is the only one that can directly go with the pension schemes at this moment in time, but there is an update coming. The advanced one's the only one that can deal with deductions properly. When it comes to the standard payroll, you have that integration with QuickBooks Online, but you don't get to customize what actually happened. Whereas the advanced version you can. Now that can be useful if you have different departments. For example, you might have a department who is your retail force and they're the people who work for you in the actual shops that you have. And then you might have a warehouse force as well. Well, on the advanced one, you'll be able to distinguish between the two and they could be posted to different cost centers and you'll basically have more control of what gets posted into QuickBooks Online. Whereas well, in the simple one, you're just going to have the opportunity to post that one cost to there. And if you want to, you can split that cost out, but you'd have to do that manually. They both now get a self-service employee portal, which is really important. They both have the opportunity to have time tracking, but it is an add-on for the standard version. There's HR functionality within the advanced one and not in the simple. The HR functionality is mainly around leave management, rotors and everything like that. And then from a reports point of view, you get to see that both of them um, have offer reports, but it's the basic in standard and advanced and customized in advance. And then finally, each one of them can automatically calculate NI and student loan, HMRC recognize, can also pay overtime, send FPS, EPS, and all of your RTI filings, generate pay slips, assess employees for workplace pensions, calculate their code or automatic tax codes in, pay statutory sick pay, and also report any of your construction industry scheme directly in there. So honestly, for most people, the standard payroll will be absolutely fine. We personally use the advanced payroll for running our Boffix employees and paying them, but that's because we need that departmental side of things. And honestly, it's that side of things where you'll get your most benefit from. So let's explore the standard payroll and have a quick look at exactly what it can do. So the first great thing about it is it's built directly within the QuickBooks software. So if I go down here and I go to payroll, you'll notice now that directly within my QuickBooks software is my payroll solution. And what's really nice about this is the fact that everything's here for me all in this one area. And it really holds your hand as well. If I'm completely honest, the advanced version of the payroll can be a little bit overwhelming from time to time. And again, we'll cover that in a 
following video. But in the standard payroll, we have a really unified solution that if you just need a couple of different bits, it's gonna be perfect for what you need. So let's have a look exactly how this works. Well, first of all, it's gonna say, let's add some business information. So have you paid employees before? I'm gonna say no for now, press next. Who my client is, I'm just got Boffix. What is your legal business address? I'm gonna put 123 Derby. And we're just gonna put Derby, save and next. We're gonna say we pay on a monthly basis. And let's say our first payday is today's date. What are the days you are being paid for? So I'm gonna stick it to the month itself. And what would you like to call the schedule? Monthly. Save and next. Let's start your employee's workplace pension. Here you get to go through the questions. Now I'm not gonna go through all of these now. You're gonna to have to read them and see what's applied for you. For now, I'm just gonna say directors only. And lastly, let's figure out if you can save on your employee's national insurance bill. So do you qualify, yes or no? They give you a great little handy guide for qualification there. And if not, you can say, yes, I qualify or no, I don't. I can say, yes, I do for now. And no, no state rules apply. Success, we're all done. All right, so our next thing we've got to do is add our first employee. And this is where I've really liked the way this feature works because here I've got all of these people and I'm going to add a brand new employee there from scratch. I'm going to say Aaron, Patrick, I'm going to invite them to put it in themselves. And if like magic, I'm now going to show you what happens when your employee accepts the email. So why is this step important? Well, this is the step that makes sure that all you need to do is send an email to your new employee and they can fill in all the information, which is a great time saving, definitely. But more importantly, it means that everything's accurate because it's your employee that's responsible for making sure everything's included. So here I'm putting my name, my gender, my date of birth, my address, my national insurance number, the day I was hired and which applies to me. So I'm going to say it's my first job. And then from here, I can see what pay slips I've got, any documents that I've got. I can see all this information from here. So let's go back to the main one. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in and go back into my employee and have a look at it. And from here, I can say all my tax information. So at the moment, I don't have a tax code on a national insurance letter. So I'm gonna put A and I'm gonna put 100L, for example, but you need to make sure that's correct. And I'm gonna put cumulative, press save. Employment details, I'm going to say no to paid irregularly. Pay type, I'm going to say is salary. I'm going to say the salary is £30,000. Typical working day is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Paid by that, and my contract hours is 37 and a half hours a week. That sounds good to me. Payroll ID looks good to me. Start day looks good. Press save. And my actions up here is I can put an additional pay in, I can put deductions. I can put employee leave, marker's leave it, or I can delete this employee. So that set my employee up. So how do I go about paying my employee for the first time? Well, I go to my payroll area, and it said here, basically, if I go through this guide that I've got here, add your business, create your employee, place it, and I pay my employees. I'm gonna say where I paid it from. So let's say from the current account, press save, saying I've got some missing information that I need to complete. I'm happy with that now. Okay, so when I go into my payroll, it's gonna tell me if there's anything needed, but also it's gonna tell me what I am about to pay them. So I've got these figures that have come in through here. What I need to do though is, I also get a nice little calculator for furlough. So that's really handy. And it's gonna prompt me where my pay date's gonna be. I can edit an individual payment for someone. So at the moment I've got the salary coming in. I can add any bonuses. I can add any deductions. Press done. And if I need to add another employee, I've got the option here. I can add a bonus on. So let's say I've got a bonus. Call it bonus, press save. Let's say it's a signing on bonus. I can say that I've got some mileage reimbursement as well to worry about. Let's have this on. And if I need to, I can figure out some taxable pay as well. Once I'm out of that, press done. Those new salaries will be there, so I can say, that, I don't know, there's a signing on bonus. And I can even add some deductions as well. So maybe there's some loan repayments or advance payments, repayment there, I can put them in. I can say it's a percentage, 10%, and press done. And then what it's gonna do is automatically calculate my tax and deductions, 
figure out my net pay for me and tell me what my payroll total is going to be in the top. Once I've had that, press review payroll. From here then, it's my final chance to make sure everything looks right, so I'm happy with this. I can say, yep, confirm and submit. And my favorite part about this by far is now it's giving me this checklist. So first of all, your payroll journeys are being published. We're taking care of updating QuickBooks at your payroll costs, so we'll see them coming through to QuickBooks for me when it goes through. My pay slips. Download, email, or send pay payslips to employees. So I don't even need to do this really because I've got it set. So if we go back to my employee, and as my employee, remember I get access to QuickBooks Workforce and you can get an app for it as well. Well, in here I can actually see my pay, well, my pay slip by pressing this little download button. I can open the file. I can see my pay slip directly from here if I need to. And finally, my option then is to submit my FPS. Now the key thing is this payroll history here. It tells me that this is incomplete because I haven't actually submitted it. I go back into it, it's because I haven't actually submitted the FPS yet. The rest of the screen is not giving you a handy hint. So it's telling me my next payroll is in 31 days. And I can manage this accordingly if I want to. I want to edit my schedule for it. I can see what HMRC reports will let you know when it are due. So make sure we file them on time. We get a nice COVID options here. So it's telling us about job retention, statutory sick pay, and we could have keep an eye on our workplace pension here as well. I also have my employee section where I can see which employees I've got active at any point and I can go through and activate the employees if I need to. And if I need to get rid of an employee, I literally click into them. And from there, I can do see pay slips they've got, any documents they've had, and options here is Marcus Lever. I can even put employees leave if they've gone on statutory or any unpaid leave. In my settings, I now have a payroll section. And in here, I can go through my pay schedule at the top to make sure I'm happy with it. I can make sure my HMRC files are in there and I'll automatically set it to sub submit to HMRC for me. That's quite, really, that's quite important actually. That works really well. I've got my PAYE reference. I've got my employer NI and small employees relief if I want to go and claim that one. Yes, I qualify answering these questions to make sure I'm allowable for it. I can put my pension information in, and I can also say where my journal's gonna go. So there we have it, a quick look at the payroll. Now, as you can see here, it does everything a simple payroll would require. Now, there are a few limitations that are worthwhile making you aware of. First of all, there's no real leave management or HR functionality. So you may need to have a sum of a solution to compile that for you. It could be something as simple as an Excel sheet, but just bear that in mind. You don't get any customization options as well for like the pay slip or anything like that. And some people really do want to make sure that their pay slip is on brand and everything else. So that could be a consideration to think of. But what it does, it does really, really well. It keeps things really simple. Overall, I love the standard payroll and it's something for businesses who are first figuring out how to make payments to employees. It can be the best way of doing it. But what are your thoughts? I'd love to know below. Have you used QuickBooks Payroll? Are you happy with it? Is there anything else that you think people should know about? Now remember, this is the standard payroll. We're gonna have a look at the advanced payroll as well, but also let me know below if you want a more detailed look into the standard payroll. This was always supposed to be a quick overview, just so people can see it, just so people can be aware of it. But if people would like to see it in a bit more detail, let me know below and we'll do a more deep dive into the world of standard payroll. But I think more importantly is gonna be looking at that QuickBooks advanced payroll, because I think that's most of the decisions people are gonna make. Do they go standard or do they go advanced? Which one is right for them? Overall, it's a thumbs up for me for those clients who just want a really simple payroll solution that's beautifully integrated within QuickBooks Online. And one of the good things is it's been updated quite a lot recently. If you go through the actual updates, schedules of what we've done and you listen to our podcast quickbooks labs we commend quite a lot of how quickbooks is always putting some updates into their payroll solution and it seems to be the payroll standard one that they've been putting the most amount of updates to lately with things like the employee portal and things like that just to make life so much easier okay with that that is all i've got to show you with the standard payroll if you are looking to get the payroll yourself and the copy of QuickBooks Online, don't forget to use the links below for some nice little discounts on both of those products. Just head over to the Boffix e-store using the links below and you'll be able to get some nice discounts on QuickBooks Online and QuickBooks Standard Payroll. 
My name's been Aaron Patrick. It's been an absolute pleasure to do this video for you. Hopefully you're now a little bit more wiser in terms of what QuickBooks Standard Payroll can do for you and your business. And if not, reach out to us here at Boffix for a little bit of an extra detailed tour. I'm looking forward to having a look at the advanced payroll to give you some insight and exactly how that works for your business. But until then, I will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Cause I can get him out of my head I don't care what we do, everything's really new Even if we're staying bad My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah You know I want him na, 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 na My heart is saying yeah, 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 yeah Yeah, yeah, yeah Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat, Boffix Tax Tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live and Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well.